intended for mature audiences may contain language and content not suitable for younger listeners. And most of that content is coming out of Justin's mouth. Late because he is uh, stuck at a ditty party. Um, so he's trying to get out of there right now. Um, but uh, hey, I know uh, you've been following this very closely. So uh, tell us what you got about the P Diddler. Yeah, I mean, if he's there, then we might not want to hold our breath. We might not see him for a while. Um... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I know you guys saw like his house get raided and everything. Apparently, he like skipped. He had been going to and from Cali to Florida, like earlier that, like last two weeks before that, when everything really started like coming out. And then the day that he like went on the or uh, that they raided his house, like he went on a flight to the Caribbean. That apparently was planned already. And um, so he's on the plane. And when the plane lands, like um, the FBI or some, I think this is the FBI, they come and check the plane because they checked the manifest and his name was on the plane. He wasn't on the plane. Of course he but, wasn't on the plane. Yeah, I was going to say, that's what I heard. But his kids, yeah. like, I think one of his kids was on the plane. And like a couple of girls that he was hanging out with were on the plane. And so they all got detained. In but Florida? he wasn't on the plane at all. But apparently the plane also took off like 30 minutes before all these raids happened. They yeah. knew. Like yeah. it was literally that plane took off and then they like, like fucking people on Twitter fucking started going in and they were tracking the jet. They were like, this is where he is. He's on his way to the Caribbean right now. Yeah, which is crazy. You can just jet. track any jet. Well, yeah. TMZ was it's tracking. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, and then they fucking get there and then like uh, they're tra- doing the track path and everyone's like, oh, he's going to get on a smaller plane, go to like somewhere where there's no extradition and all. And so they thought it was this big thing and like, you know, go to fucking surround the jet. He's not on it. And then he's just like chilling in Miami. Yeah. yeah. I heard that like the, he, the jet the was the ultimate like, bamboozle a flight or something. Mm-hmm. And he was never on it to begin with. Yeah. I think he would have gotten into a lot more trouble if he actually was on it though. I think that's why he didn't get on the plane. I think he was originally on it, and he jumped out with a parachute. D.B. cooper that shit. D.B. Cooper style. D.B. Coopered it right back to Miami. (laughs) I'm pretty sure there's a fucking music video where Puff Daddy jumps out of a fucking airplane with a parachute on. He just floating down like, "Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, then you have to go back and listen to the lyrics and be like, what? (laughs) (laughs) He's been leading on this for 10 years? Yo, I saw this one. I forgot about, um, you know... Oh, what song is that? Um, I think it's with Usher. It's like I need a girl. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 And, in the, yeah. and in that song, he was like, uh, he was like, we were, so we were friends, oh, and we, we came have. I put it in the chat. Yeah. yeah, I put it in the chat. Hold on, and then, let me uh, let me pull it up right here. Oh, it's like know. closer than lovers. You were like my brother. Yeah. <laughs> it's this one. Hold on, I think it's is it this oh, one? God. Um, nope. That's Meek Mill in a pool with Diddy edging him on. Let's see if you can hear this. Yeah, Diddy edging Meek Mill in a pool. Let's... <laughs> oh, yeah, right? All right, let me see if. That's a crazy line. Yeah, it's. That, wow. That's a crazy. You were more than my girl. We were like brothers. What? <laughs> I don't know if you can actually. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's gonna be able to actually hear that, but yeah. I don't know if anyone heard that, but if oh, you we'll did dub it that, over. We'll, we'll dub it over in the video. Okay, good, because uh, that line is thirsty, and uh, bro, he was. A I don't know, like deviant. He's a deviant. Yeah. Like a sexual oh, yeah. deviant. But so okay, so here's He's... the creepy part though, like, because like we all make fun of Diddy and like you know. Everyone rem- remembers him from like the '90s dancing in the fucking shiny suits and shit. And everyone's like, "Ah, oh, it's fucking Puff Daddy." Blah blah. But like, Puff Daddy's legit gangster. Like his yeah. fucking dad was like 
a legit gangster that was like fucking hanging out with Frank Lucas and shit. Um, so like Frank Lucas, what's the fucking uh, what's the movie based on Frank Lucas? It's like American Gangster, American, or American. Gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with, oh, with uh, the Denzel. Denzel, yeah. where Denzel like yeah. shoots the fucking dude in the middle of the street. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's with everyone dad. watching, because he knows that dude fucking Puff Daddy's dad was literally like fr- one of Frank Lucas's dudes that like hung around. That's him crazy. And shit. That's wild. Yeah. So that runs deep then. Yeah, like, so, like I know he seems all funny and shit, but like Puff Daddy literally like legit grew up. I, I mean, I'm. Fuck. I yeah. mean, there's allegations of like you know he he was the one that put the hit on you know Tupac. There was like oh, allegations yeah. at that time. Bro, so like, there there was, was, it was like a lovers' quarrel. Have you heard about the uh, wild conspiracy theory? Could go about back how, to, they can go uh, all the way back to that. I mean, maybe he P. was Diddy, the brother underneath the cover. Well, about how P Diddy was part of the assassination of Michael Jackson. Have you guys heard about this shit, dude? Oh my no, god! I haven't heard this. I forgot one. about this right oh, till now. This should be good. So there's like a bodyguard. I can't remember his fucking name. So, like, his bodyguard was the same bodyguard of um, Michael Jackson when he passed out, or when he died, when he, like, got, he, like, OD'd or whatever the fuck happened. But apparently that guy had, like, a business degree and, like, a medical degree or some shit. And he was the guy who administered the shots to MJ. Yeah, dude. The bodyguard was? Yeah, the bodyguard, yeah. Uh. I gotta look up his fucking name. Hold on. I don't have a lot of information on it. I just remembered it. That's a that's a deep allegation right there. You Dude, know, uh, the that video would... I saw like made a lot of sense though. Like I was like, holy shit, I didn't know this. I mean, Diddy's out here just fucking murdering everyone. Fucking and murder. I mean, it could be fucking and murder. Fucking and murder. It's like that South Park episode, Mister Garrison. Fuck them all to death. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. But I'm not surprised though. Like, okay, here we go. You know, you got the video. I don't have a video, but I have some shit I can. There was another Instagram. Uh, Instagram. There was a model today that just dropped ac- accusations on Diddy too. So, uh, was it a girl? Jade Ramsey responds to claim she was a sex worker for Diddy uh, amid the federal probe. Mm. Didn't like Fifty Cent's wife or some shit come out as a sex worker for Diddy, and then he divorced her? Did you guys hear about that shit too? There's a bunch of mm. random allegations right now. I mean, I feel like there's just going to be a shit ton of people jumping on the train with it, though. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. The Meek Mill ones are the best ones, though. <laughs> Dude, those are wild. Uh, yeah, those, those are wild. Yeah. All right, so apparently the head of security for P. Diddy was Fahim Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad, who had previously worked as the chief of security for Michael Jackson before his passing. According to Rodney, Lil Rod Jones, lawsuit documents against P. Diddy, Mr. Muhammad was the head of security team had the power to make problems and people disappear. Like, he was like the guy you would call if you needed a problem solved, apparently. He also had connections within law enforcement. P. Diddy instructed his staff to always contact Mr. Muhammad if they were ever pulled over by the police in Miami or California. Damn. Yeah. So this That'd could run nice way deeper, just have bro. somebody you could call, like, yeah. whenever. That'd be tight. Like he, this is like, one of the perks. I mean, you do have to get fucked in the ass all the time, but yeah, I mean, uh, you get yeah. the cops and like you're fine, I guess. Uh, apparently, <laughs> take, just, you know, just a, a lot of get, a lot more taken than given, though. <laughs> oh my god, Justin, you are correct. Daphne Joy, who is uh, uh, Fifty Cent's baby mama, uh, was named in uh, the lawsuit as someone who allegedly sold her services to uh, P Diddy. Damn. Yeah, and he like instantly divorced her. Shit, too, apparently, brother love. That's that's what it is. Brother love. I mean, right? Because that's how the world works. Sent out here looking like the genius coming out on top. <laughs> Dude, him Dude. and Cat Williams. I think the world owes both of them an apology. Bro, Cat Williams <laughs> called this shit months ago. Yeah, months ago I mean, on the Shannon Sharp podcast. Yeah. So here's okay. So here's the ones I don't get though, right? Like in the ones that I feel like are getting kind of lost in this is so the actual charges against Diddy are like multiple women it's yeah rape uh hold on i had it up here it was like sexual trafficking and then um there's one other one yes sexual trafficking sexual abuse and rape but it's all brought on by women it's all because like new york 
put a new law in and you could go back and charge people from before, like the statute of limitations before, right? Oh, uh, okay. But all of this shit, like, I keep seeing all these things where it's like, oh, grooming kids and all this other shit. And I'm like, I don't doubt that that's happening. But at the same time, let's focus on the actual fucked up shit that Diddy's doing that we can <laughs> yeah. prove and not take it away to like all this other fucking, you know. I mean, I'm sure there was some some trafficking in there, too. You know what I mean? So, so like one of the girls was oh, under sure. 18, uh, apparently had a fake ID, but like she was uh, she was like 16 or some shit. Um, one of the girls named the lawsuit, but bro, he's the Epstein of the rap game. Mm-hmm. Oh man, so same <laughs> like, wasn't he? Wasn't he named in? Um, uh, was it Prince Charles? Who was the prince? Um, There's like, a lot. Prince Charles. England. Yeah, that like he had like the allegations brought on after the Epstein stuff, and. P. Diddy's name got brought up in his lawsuit, too. Bro, I'm telling you, all this shit's fucking connected. <laughs> of course it is. It has and there was to be also, connected. Have you seen the video of, like, there's a theory that all this is collected, like, connected to, like, the Illuminati and shit with, like, Jay-Z and Beyonce? Yeah. Well, Jay-Z was mentioned in some of this shit, too. Yeah, dude. So there's a video of Jay-Z when he's young, like, sitting in front of this woman who's, like, a former FBI informant, right? And he says this phrase... That's like, oh, yeah, I think we nailed the kneeling or something, something having to do with, like, kneeling. And you see this woman, like, glare at him. And then, like, he changes the subject immediately just to, like, see mm. that he's saying the right thing, bro. Like, who, what are you talking about kneeling? <laughs> like, yeah, it's wild, man. It's a little odd. Yeah. It's running deep, bro. Running I mean, I'm, deep. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with, with Diddy going down. I don't know if I can, I can lose some Jay-Z and Beyonce. I, I don't think life. I can lose Jay-Z. Come on, come on, Jay. No. You, you guys got to hold me down on this shit. Jay-Z. I'm going to need you to do better. I'm going to need you to do a lot better. The best rapper alive. Best rapper of all time. Yeah. Uh, like, come on, man. But it's P. Diddy out here <clears throat> facing these allegations. The lyrics have said it. There's some videos out there. I mean. Do you, you see that? Uh, hear that audio? Of, it was allegedly of a party where him and Meek Mill were behind a door, and all you hear is just cheeks clapping. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, bro, I did hear dude, that. It is. Haunting. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, it's gross, dude. Oh, uh, it's it's so bad. It's pretty. It, like, came up on my now. TikTok. I, <laughs> I, like, I didn't. I swear. I swear. I heard him say times like this and rap like this. Like, oh no, that's death. No, me. No. Me. Oh no, he's taking it <laughs> really hard. That's why he came out the pool and said, "Hey, how you feeling, Big Daddy? You deserve that." Bro, oh, did he would call? He would call Daddy to. Every, he would say that to everybody. You seen that video of him sitting with Mike Tyson when they're like interviewing with like one of the late night talk show hosts, and Diddy like puts his hand on Tyson's leg, and Tyson just like oh, screws yeah, over and looks yeah. at him. He's gonna beat the shit out of him. Yeah, bro. yeah, bro. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Like. There's a lot of videos coming out like that now. It's or that wild. video of, uh, <clears throat> of LeBron with uh, on FaceTime with Diddy, and he's like, "Ain't no party like a P Diddy <laughs> like party." Like a Diddy party. Oh party. yeah. I was like, "Oh yeah. man, that was, wow." Well, here fun, comes fun. LeBron connected with all that. That's yeah, LeBron, you mean to tell me yeah, yeah. LeBron cool being that. in the NBA for what 21 years, he never went to a P Diddy party. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, he's he, lived, he, he lived in Miami for like six years. Of course he went to a P. Diddy party. I'm pretty sure every celebrity has gone to a P. Has, P. Diddy party. Absolutely. Yeah. You apparently, can't stay past 1230. Exactly. It's all good before 1230. <laughs> yeah, then shit gets fucking weird. Damn. But P. Diddy like, hasn't, been, like, he hasn't been arrested why specific? Yet. Why specifically 1230? Like, I don't know, but all the videos I see of guys who, like air. rappers I've never heard of or like, you know, producers, they're always like, at 12.30, I think it was um, Samuel L. Jackson would go to them, and one of the guys was like, whenever Samuel L. left, we would leave. And he always left before 12. I was like, oh, That's shit. Smart. Yeah. Because one There's guy always said that he, like, rule, nothing, nothing good happens after 2 a.m., so, I mean. Well, apparently it's 12.30 at Diddy Party. <laughs> That's where apparently Chris one guy, is still, one guy in an Chris is still at that Diddy Party, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, still yeah. there. He's, he's still there. He's still there. <laughs> we'll ask it's him. Yeah, yet, he, though. He's good, man. I mean, he might somebody, not leave that dude. He's going to hate somebody us. Should get him a hate donut. us if he listens to this. <laughs> somebody should get him a donut to our sit on. Oh, my there. God, bro. He gets back. <laughs> yeah, one of the ra- the rappers on a podcast is talking about how, like, they'd be in, like, the basement in the recording studio, and he came up at, like, 1 or 2 in the morning, and you just see, like, 
people hooking up on the couches. Like, whether it be underage girls or just dudes doing dudes. Just, yeah. And he was like, okay, this is happening. Time to go. <laughs> like, yeah, wild shit, man. I mean, I, just... I mean, if, if P. Diddy and Meek Mill want to get it on, do what you got to do, man. Yeah, yeah, do what you yeah, got. Do, do what you got to yeah. do. Ain't no, I don't have a yeah. problem with that at all. But like the underage stuff and the trafficking shit, like, come on, bro. You know what? You know what? I just realized it's mostly like, like people that get caught up in that are like, they're like young up and comers that are like trying to make it out, like trying to. They don't have money. Like, yeah, exactly. I mean, why do you think Meek Mill said you know they, sucking and swallowing get... anything for a dollar? <laughs> like, I mean. Oh my god. Come on. I mean, that was right there for the yeah. taking. And it's on. I mean, don't get me wrong. Dreams and Nightmares is a great song. But God damn, dude. Like. I wonder why it's called Dreams and Nightmares. I mm. <laughs> wonder what the dreams were that were so great that you could the just money, like, disregard. The dream the was the money. The nightmare was yeah. what you did to do to get it. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if money's that great. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a lot of videos of P. Diddy and Meek Mill hanging around. So. Well, it's like that shit that Kat said, too. Um. On the Shannon Sharp podcast, when he was talking about how he got offered like 500 mil to do like four movies or something, but he'd have to cut his hair and like be clean shaven, and he refused. It was between like him and Luda, and he refused it. And then like six months later, you see Ludacris winning a Grammy with his hair fucking cut short and his beard like yeah. completely shaven off. Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, dude! <laughs> like this man was not lying at all. Yeah, but I'll cut my hair and shave my beard for fucking a couple mil. Well, the whole point well, yeah. is, like, you're selling out to, like, like... He said you were selling out to, like, the Illuminati and shit. You had to, like, you know, this is the whole thing. But he hasn't been wrong yet, so... Uh, he hasn't. Not entirely been. sure how to take that. But, like, going back to Taste Point, like, a lot of these people are, like, young, up-and-coming, so, like... And nobody... Kinda... And there's nobody, like, to tell them otherwise. You know, there's yeah. nobody the there to say... Yeah, no, this is no, don't let this happen to you. They're just people that are like, oh, yeah, no, this is normal. This is how you I mean, isn't, your whole, really? isn't there a whole show on uh, on HBO about that right now? Like, wasn't what was the uh, Drake and the... Dr. Josh show? And then, uh, uh what was oh, it? Yeah, the um, uh, oh, behind the scenes, quiet on set or quiet yeah. on set. Yeah. yeah, that's just actually kind of fucked that up. ruined it's my a good childhood. Watch, but it's, it's that ruined my childhood. That shit is really fucked just... up. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but we had a whole like fucking program when i was in school with like bad touch no so i mean i was told all that shit yeah <laughs> bad touch no you didn't get that shit where it was like I, a little kid and like so. he's I don't like i know if it was called that for my schooling but I de- there was definitely something similar oh, yeah. oh wait what was the premise of that dude so like this kid's like like baseball coach it's like we just got the new uniforms in you want to come over and try them on? And, like, the kid goes over and the coach is like, try them on in front of me. And, like, goes take the kid's shirt off and he's like, bad touch. No. And then he runs out of the room real quick. What the what? fuck? I was, like, never, ever I was like, go school. fucking tell people if, like, uh, you know, adults are touching you in weird ways. Oh, yeah. my God, bro. Yeah. They should probably bring that back. That you know, and yeah, probably make that, that pro- back. you know, and just make it. They do driver's ed in school anymore. So. Oh, for real? Good luck getting that shit back. I don't think <laughs> so. I don't think my brother did driver's ed in high school. What? He's only three years old, younger than me. I definitely remember I driver's some... ed. I don't remember touch me no, though. Touch me no? <laughs> Is that what it was? Bad touch no. Oh, Bad sorry. touch no. I guess that's the name of the I episode. Close. Bad touch no. I was touch, me, touch me no sounds like you're like <laughs> teasing him. <laughs> That's that sounds. That sounds. That sounds like a Justin Bieber song. <laughs> no, uh, that's no. That's a big to P. Diddy. Touch me. Touch me. <laughs> it's a, it sounds oh like a Bieber God. song. It's been great hanging out with you guys. Peace, love. Say thank you every once in a while. Justin, baby boy, cue the damn music. We out, motherfucker.